cut, miter, bridge, and mark bends for straight rule. It'll also process the four point crease. A lot of guys are doing uh, uh, the two machines. Uh, they have a regular bender as you guys do. You're processing the straight rule on a straight rule machine and then they primarily use this straight rule processor for their creasing rule. Uh, it's fed off a coil. Coil sits on the back of the machine here, runs through. Instead of being vertical, it's now horizontal. Comes down into the stage here. Here's our feed rollers and our, our feed motors. This is what drives the rule in and out of the processor. We've got two, a two-station bridge and mark tool. One tool cuts and miters, straight cuts and gives miters. The other tool bridges and marks bends for manual bending. And I'll just run a few pieces off and show you how that works. And after the piece is cut and or mitered, it goes onto the conveyor belt and delivers off onto a tray outside the machine. So actually when you're running this machine, the doors are closed, they also open, and we also have a door on the back side here. And there you can see the conveyor running. Sneak around in there and I'll run another one so you can yeah. see it come up. That's how we process the straight cut or crease rule. Um, we can run anything just like your other benders. It'll take a DDS, a DXF, CFF2, uh, DWG, all the standard file formats that we run in the other benders. Um, if you'll see the software, let's take a look at the software here. It's a little different than that's on your multi-bender. This is the new X platform software from Young Wa. Uh, you'll see it's a little pretty much the same but a little bit different as far as configurations. It's uh, modular so you're only configuring feeding, bending, notching, all those things are now segregated out into individual menus instead of having one big page where you configure everything. Here's our rule configurations, and we have the edge configuration, which is the cutters, feeding to control all, all our feed rates and our uh, circumferences for uh, the feed roller for uh, uh, controlling all your distance, the bending, tool data, which is for your bridge tool, and then the general data for tool comps and limits. So instead of having all those configuration settings on one page, now they're on individual pages. Uh, makes it a little easier to follow and a little easier to tune into. Now we'll go to the rotary processor here. If we come in and take a look, you'll see how on your machines the motors are on the bottom everything in this machine is pretty much self-contained up on top the only thing down on the bottom is the hydraulic uh, hydraulic pump and motor so if you'll see we have a double gearing system one bend motor up on top and then a double gearing so again on your multi bender you have two belts top and bottom they've replaced the belts with solid gearing you have a solid gear on the top and a solid gear on the bottom attached to the bend shaft which also has two gears on it so everything is mesh now You've got even pressure top and bottom doing your bending one single pin just like your multi bender comes up from the bottom here's the pin shaft drives up and does the bending the rule is actually stored on the back of the machine it sits on a coil holder back there feeds back through the machine 
and up into the rule track and then into the bend mechanism itself. Now on this machine we're running no knock rule. The bridge tool is the bridge tool is two stage. There's a bar right in the way. I don't know if I'm catching that. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. Yep. got the regular notches and then your relief notches are punched into the steel. We'll run another one, it's a slot. A little bigger than a quarter inch in width. bit of bending, uh, hand bending, pretty much be able to drive it right in the board off the machine. <laughs> 